गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर फिफ्थ ऑफ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट्स सेशन विच यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री इज एसोसिएटेड विथ जन विश्वास अमेंडमेंट ऑफ प्रोविजन बिल सो जन विश्वास बिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री वॉज रिसेंटली पास बाय द लोकसभा एंड इट एम्स टू बूस्ट द ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस एंड लिविंग इन आवर कंट्री इंडिया बेसिकली इट एम्स टू रीडिफाइन द रेगुलेशन इन द कंट्री बाय डी क्रिमिनलाइजिंग माइनर ऑफेंसेज अंडर फोर्टी टू एक्ट्स देयर बाय रिड्यूसिंग द कंप्लाइंस एंड यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री प्रेजेंटेड द प्रपोज लेजिस्लेशन इन द पार्लियामेंट इन द मंथ ऑफ डिसम्बर लास्ट ईयर ओके so jan vishwas amendment of provision bill is associated with ministry of commerce and industry then apart from it the indian institute of management amendment bill proposes which personality as the visitor to all the iims this is the president of india so indian institute of management amendment bill 2023 was introduced in the lok sabha so as to amend the iim act of 2017 and this amendment declares the 20 iims across the country as the institutions of national importance and the bill was introduced in the lok sabha by the union education minister dharmendra pradhan and this bill proposes to appoint the president of india as the visitor to all the iims of india okay so you can be asked that this bill proposes which important personality as the visitor to these institutions answer would be president okay next question is micron is set to establish india's first semiconductor plant in which indian state so micron reaffirmed its commitment to establish india's very first semiconductor plant in the state of gujarat by creating 5000 direct jobs and addressing the demand from domestic and international markets so this project entails a total investment of 2.75 billion dollars and the first made in india chip should be ready by december 2024 okay so india's very first semiconductor plant is to be established in the state of gujarat then indian companies have been allowed to list on the foreign exchanges through which institution so finance minister nirmala sitaraman has said that the government has decided to enable listed and unlisted domestic companies to directly list their equity shares on the international financial services center at ahmedabad and this decision will actually facilitate access to global capital and result in a better valuation of the indian companies also she has launched corporate debt market development fund and amc repo clearing limited fine so indian companies have been allowed to list on the foreign exchanges through ifsc the full form is international financial services center next question is what is the name of the motor sport championship for electric cars so the single seater motor sport championship for electric cars is called as formula e and why it was in news because jake dennis became the first british driver to win the all electric formula e world championship when he finished second for avalanche and rathi in the london e prix okay so the first season of formula e was in 2014 to 15 and jake dennis is the eighth driver to take the title with jean eric vergne who is from france who has the title of being the only double champion okay simply what is the name of the motor sport championship for electric cars it is formula e and it was in news because jake dennis became the first british driver to win the all electric formula e world championship Rajkot International Airport has been inaugurated in which Indian state So recently Prime Minister Narendra Modi 
inaugurated the Rajkot International Airport and various development initiatives amounting to over 860 crore rupees in Rajkot in the state of Gujarat. And the project encompasses Sony Yojana Link 3, Package 8 and 9, and this is the upgradation of Dwarka Rural Water Supply and Sanitation, Preservation, Renovation and Progress of Upper Court Ford Phase 1 and 2, etc. Okay, simply Rajkot International Airport has been inaugurated in the state of Gujarat. Okay. Next is, what is the process of removing the securities of a listed company from a stock exchange? It is called as delisting. Delisting basically means removing the securities of a listed company from a ex stock exchange. Once delisted, the securities of that company can no longer be traded on the stock exchanges. And why it is in news? Because SEBI is currently re-examining the delisting regulations. that are apply to the listed companies and the aim of this process is to curb share manipulation in the companies that choose to delist from the stock exchanges okay simply delisting is the process of removing securities of a listed company from a stock exchange which country has successfully launched its first communication satellite the name of which is lingzi03 so china successfully launched its first communication satellite named as lingzi03 and it features an ultra thin flexible solar wing to test the technologies for a massive 13000 satellite broadband mega constellation in the low earth orbit basically it aims to compete with starlink which belongs to spacex and this satellite was launched atop a long march 2D rocket from the Taiyuan Satellite Launch Center that lies in central China. Okay, so Lingzi 03 is the first communication satellite of the country China. Fine. Next question is again associated with China country. Which country has employed the cabbage strategy? So amid increasing tensions in the South China Sea, China views the U.S. presence as a violation of its territorial claims. and it has employed now the cabbage strategy basically it involves the construction of artificial islands and encircling disrupted areas with numerous ships so as to assert control gradually and this situation has led to measures that include the detaining of trespassers and the possibility of implementing an air identification zone over the south china sea by various nations that are involved okay so cabbage strategy has been employed by the country china next question is which indian state or the union territory implements nan mudhalwan program so tamil nadu skill development corporation is implementing this particular program and under the scheme nearly 12582 faculties from the government engineering colleges and 7835 faculties from arts and science colleges from across the state have been trained in the last one year so as to enhance the skill of students okay so nan mudhalwan program belongs to the state of tamil nadu now can you tell me which institution has released the guidelines on corporate debt market development fund obviously this is sebi because sebi is a capital markets regulator and it has released the guidelines for the corporate debt market development fund and the purpose of the fund is to serve as a backstop facility that facilitates the purchase of investment grade corporate debt securities during the times of market stress thereby boosting the confidence among the participants in the corporate debt market okay so sebi has released the guidelines on this particular fund Next question is which country is undertaking the project named as demonstration rocket for agile cis lunar operations so the national aeronautics and space administration that is nasa of the us and the us military have collaborated for a project named as demonstration rocket 
for agile cis lunar operations which can be called as draco okay and this project aims to launch a nuclear powered satellite to the earth's orbit by 2025 or 2026 so this spacecraft for the project is developed by lockheed martin and the project involves an in space test of nuclear thermal propulsion technology that marks a significant technical advancement fine so currently usa is undertaking this project draco also nasa was in news because of its james webb space telescope because recently this telescope has captured a captivating near infrared image of the dynamic young stars that is harbig harrow 46 47 and these are in the vela constellation which are about 1470 light years away from our planet earth so these stars are actively forming and orbiting each other in a mesmerizing display and these are actually an important object to study because it is relatively young means they are only a few thousand years old okay so you can be asked at which institution has captured the infrared image of harbig harrow 46 47 stars answer would be james webb space telescope which belongs to nasa next question is which african country has recently witnessed a coup in 2023 So a coup by group of soldier is currently underway in Niger and soldiers appeared on the state TV so as to announce that they had removed the president from power and now the coup has seized the control of the government and suspended the constitution So recently the commander of the guard general Abdul Rahman Chiani has declared himself the leader of Niger in a televised address okay So recently Niger has witnessed a coup in the year 2023. Also in the country Italy archaeologists have recently discovered the remains of Nero's theater which is an ancient imperial theater that is mentioned in the historical text. And this theater was previously undiscovered and not has been located beneath the garden of the forthcoming Four Seasons Hostel. that means positioned just a short distance from the vatican okay simply you can be asked that where are the remains of nero's theater that have been recently discovered answer would be the country italy yesterday we have talked about a bill that has been passed by the italian parliament regarding surrogacy can you tell me the name of that bill please write your answer in the comment section mukhyamantri jan arogya mela pertains to which indian state So Mukhya Mantri Jan Arogya Mela is a scheme that pertains to the state of Uttar Pradesh and it was started in the year 2020 basically it has benefited more than 12 crore patients in the state and now Union Health Ministry is planning to adopt Uttar Pradesh successful healthcare model which includes the concept of Jan Arogya Mela so as to provide medical attention to the attendees and refer the critical patients to some specialized hospitals okay so mukhya mantri jan arogya mela pertains to uttar pradesh state now can you tell me how many characters are present in the legal entity identifier basically it is a unique 20 character code that serves as a global identifier for the legal entities that are involved in the financial transactions so it aims to create a reference data system for uniquely identifying entities across jurisdictions and now sebi has mandated that all the non individual foreign portfolio investors must provide their legal identity identifier details in the common application form that is used for the registration kyc and account opening okay so 20 characters are present in this legal entity identifier And now the last question says what is the total tiger population of India in 2022 So India's tiger population has increased to 3682 in 2022 and this value was 2967 in 2018 as per an estimate that has been released recently 
so this is an upward revision from april this year when a minimum of 3167 animals were estimated by the wildlife institute of india okay so here correct answer would be option number b 3682 okay now which state is set to launch shubh yatra scheme to provide financial support to the overseas immigrants from the state so kerala government is set to roll out a unique scheme to provide financial support to the first time overseas immigrants from kerala state and this scheme is known as shubh yatra scheme basically this project seeks to create a positive and productive migration ecosystem by providing a financial help of 2 lakh rupees with a tax holiday for 6 months and interest subvention to meet the incidental expenses of eligible candidates okay so shubh yatra scheme belongs to the state of kerala and basic aim is to provide financial support to the overseas immigrants from the state fine now which institution has recently released the guidelines for livestock telemedicine in india so this is the government of india's think tank niti aayog niti aayog has come out with advisory guidelines for livestock telemedicine in india and these guidelines suggest for allocation of a unique user id to registered veterinary practitioners and animal keepers with mandatory consent from the animal keepers however the framework grants registered veterinary practitioners immunity from any penalties if they are unable to establish a veterinarian client animal relationship during the telemedicine consultations in the emergency situations okay so recently niti aayog has released some guidelines for the livestock telemedicine in india so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this meenu zaid sana signing off